Wub wub, this is my intro. Wub wub. Welcome back, Guardians, to another Destiny video. And in this Destiny video, I wanted to talk about a potential massive Destiny 2 leak that you probably haven't heard of with incredible amounts of information to do with Destiny 2. So hit that like button down below. Let's try and get this video to 5,000 likes because if this stuff is true, it is going to be incredible. So stick with me for the next 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes or so. Relax, just listen to my voice and hope and dream that this stuff is real. So there was a Reddit post about a year ago, I think it was February, from a disgruntled Bungie employee. I made a reference to this in my earlier video today where we spoke about the new hats and keychains and such things with the designs of lions, um, eagle, bird type things and hunter snakes. So at the time, I think most people just looked at this post and thought this is absolutely ridiculous because the things that are listed are here, you'd think are absolutely ridiculous. But he posted some very important information that we already know to be true about Destiny 2. So he spoke about the story, the story, and the very first line of his story, the Cabal Emperor in a moon-sized war world, kind of like that second traveler we saw in the poster, shows up with his elite red guard, Gary, and levels the tower. Shaq's are one of the three class icon characters, depending on the contract renewals, it should be Zavala, will be killed in a patch at the end of Destiny 1 as the tower is lost driving the story into the world so it was based on contract renewals who would die in the tower we have seen who survives so you know that's just neither here nor there but our very first line about the emperor in a moon-sized war world showing up and leveling the tower we know to be true and there is no way in hell anyone could have guessed that from being a real thing so maybe this was just someone who has someone who works in bungie tell them one little thing and then they made the rest of the stuff up but what if it isn't? What if this actually is a Bungie employee who was disgruntled, who released a lot of information that was either in the game or was being considered to be in the game? So everything you're about to hear, take with a grain of salt of actually being in Destiny because we don't know 100% whether even this is a Bungie employee or if it is, whether all this stuff that he knew was going to be considered was even in the final game. But let's get into it. So I'm going to avoid the story stuff, but I'll put it up on screen right now so you can read it because I that doesn't concern me. I'm, I'm not too fussed about that. Whatever happens in the story is great. I want to experience that. So I don't want to really talk about my opinions and stuff on it. But there is a couple of things in there that I would like to note. It says your Destiny 1 character has vanished on a mission to Europa and your Destiny 2 character is a rookie following their legend. I hope this is true. I really do because that's a pretty cool concept. Our original Guardians aren't lost to the world. You know what I mean? They, they exist, but they're just out doing stuff. And then we take control of another character. That would be pretty awesome. Everything else you can see on screen or I'll link the Reddit post down below. And you could go check it out and read it for yourself. But there is a comment made further down the post, which um, I have right here on screen. Boom. And we have the mechanics of the game, new mechanics. So let's talk about them one by one all the way down. But first, I want to mention further down, new specs for classes include a pet class. Titans get a lynx type creature. Hunters get a large slinking reptile. And warlocks get an alien raven type flying creature. Now, these are represented on those hats. And I do like the idea of the warlock getting alien raven type because the actual thing that we see on the hat doesn't quite look like an eagle or a bird. It does look like something alien. If you look at like the face and the jaws, it kind of looks a little bit like a dragon. Now, let's pop back up to the top. We have new version of our engine. Loads faster, allowing of larger areas, including the hubs in the open world. The subzones on each planet are four times the size of Destiny 1's entire maps per planet. Wow, that's a lot to take in. But the way I hear that is if you take the entirety of the Cosmodrome, that would be one quarter of a subzone of a planet in Destiny 2. So if you think about it, the entirety of Cosmodrome, make that four times as big, and that's one subzone in a then bigger planet that's how i read it that's an incredible amount of space to explore and see in destiny 2 would they reduce the amount of planets in destiny 2 because there would be so much to do i, I guess or maybe they're just going to take all the planets we know and further make them bigger and more intricate and more to explore i would be absolutely amazed if this is the case and with it being next gen only now and pc I feel like this is a very real possibility, or at least that was the idea behind it. But that seems something concrete. That doesn't seem something that you would be like, okay, we're thinking about doing this four times as big. At the time this post was made, this should be already in Destiny 2. So we could be seeing humongous planets, and I'm excited for that. 
The next one is game has the option to go third person until you fire or go into iron sights. So you can run around as a third person character. I think of something like the division. And then when you aim down sight, you go into first person and you can shoot. And it's just an option. It's not like something that you have to have. You can run around in first person if you want. But I do like the idea of this, you know, running around, exploring a planet in third person. Could be pretty cool. Little nice little option that they put in the game if they do. Next, we have vehicles were a problem in the hasty rebuild of Destiny 1's patrols, but make a return to a Halo 3 style jump on and kick out the pilot gameplay in Destiny 2. So I could see this meaning, you know, like enemies have vehicles and such things. And if the planets are four, five, ten million times bigger than what we have already seen, we are going to need things to get around, not just sparrows. So I could see enemies having these like souped up machines that you can steal off them and drive around. That would be awesome and I feel like it could be a very doable thing for a game of this magnitude if it is how it says it is. Next up we have Light is now a Diablo 3 style Paragon leveling system. Now I've never played Diablo 3 before, you guys are going to know it better than I do. So excuse my ignorance on this situation but I read a little passage about it and it seems like once you get to max level you then get more levels which creates like skill points which you can then put into a skill tree which gives you extra abilities like movement speed plus 0.5% defense plus this vitality plus this you know stuff like that so in my mind how that translates and what i read is once you reach the max level let's just say 40 because that's what we know the max xp level is 40 then you would build your light but now you carry on getting levels by shooting things and such things and then they turn into skill points which you can then customize your character to be a specific build that you want that makes you unique and different to every other hunter in the game if you're a hunter or every other titan or every other warlock making the game you know just much more intricate so you know you could create more than one hunter and they all do different things and they're all known for different things like one could have the ability to jump higher and move faster one could be i don't know more melee damage just going off the top of my head it feels like they're going more of a skill tree based system and that's awesome that is something i actually want in destiny 2 even if this leak is real or not <laughs> gear sets with set bonuses are a thing if you don't know what this is this is basically like if you have full raid gear and you wear it all you will get an extra thing on that so let's just say for instance with the wrath of the machine you already know that each and every armor piece has a different perk on it which represents some sort of advantage in the wrath of the machine so if you were wearing all of them at the same time you could get a gear set bonus which might you know up your defense by 50 percent or up your attack damage by 50 percent stuff like that or you know iron banner could get a full gear set and then you get some sort of pvp advantage and you know you just have to figure out what works best for your character and your build that would be awesome grimoire is now accessible in game according into this leak post as well and i would like to see this available in game so you know when you're just chilling and you got nothing better to do or you're waiting for your team you know you could just look at the grimoire and learn about the law of the game without having to you know scour the internet or listen to videos for hours and hours and hours you, you could just do things at your own pace that would be pretty cool gear trading was contemplated but scrapped I like this idea. I don't want trading to exist in Destiny because then that leads to people selling things in real money and then that just makes a whole new problem for everybody. So I like the idea that it was contemplated and maybe they've come up with some sort of other system, but that being scrapped is a good thing. We have a playable El 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 Elinsky. I can't say that. The Fallen Redeemed. So some sort of Fallen. You There's a playable version of them apparently. Um, not really too fussed about that one. I don't really care about it. Next up, underneath the class include pet class item thing. We have weapons do not carry over, but owning weapons like the Zalo Supercell unlock new cosmetic items for Destiny 2 weapons and your character. So I get the idea that maybe the weapons we have and love will come to Destiny 2 in some sort of ornament fashion. So, you know, you get a weapon that has similar looks to the Iron Galahorn for a heavy. Some exotic armors, you know, they, they cross over in some sort of ornament based styled item maybe i don't know and then we have one of my favorite things to be leaked glamour slash transmogrification is in now if you don't know what transmogrification is you do need to know what it is and you need to hope that it's in the game so let's just say for instance you find a legendary helmet that has the perfect rolls for you it has like pick up an orb and regain your health etc but you really hate the look of it you just despise it so you never use it transmogrification would allow you to take that helmet and be able to change it into another styled helmet's looks another helmet that you have already picked up and owned you get to copy that kind of helmet onto your god roll perfect helmet and keep that 
that is awesome so you just take the look of something else but keep the perks that you have now i don't see this working with exotics and such things i think this is how you make exotic things exotic by having them super unique that you can't use transmogrification on them and stuff that's pretty awesome weapons will be scaled to a certain thresholds in pvp and remained borderlandsy in pve so for pvp they'll be scaled and for pve they're going to be super powerful basically and um, that's what that means there will be missions where you fight in your ship like in Halo Reach. It would simply would not run on Xbox 360 no matter how we tried. So it was shelved till that hardware was sunset. So basically flying around in your ship is going to be a thing apparently. And then we have there will be a PvP zone inspired by the Division's Dark Zone. If you've never played the Division, basically what this is is a like real time PvP place in the world where you can enter at any time. So let's just say for instance... You're on Cosmodrome. There'll be a section of the Cosmodrome which will be just like a shared bubble experience, but it will be PvP. So as soon as you walk into this area, any other Guardian in the vicinity can fight you. I would love to see this. I don't understand why it would fit into Destiny considering we're all supposed to be Guardians and fighting the darkness and such things. But maybe, you know, we're all scrounging now that everything's blown up and gone. Maybe we could kill other people grab their loot and get out of there pretty much like the division but i do like the idea of a pvp zone that'd be pretty cool imagine just running in and there's like 32 people all throwing nova bombs at each other could be pretty fun and last but not least we have as well as sparrows there would be places only reachable with animal mounts like a floating manta ray type creature on venus so i see this as being maybe boardable mounts that are in the world in a specific place so they're not like just going around and you've got to find them grab them jump on them and fly them around let's just say there's like a cliff somewhere that you can only reach the top of it with this animal you could jump on its back because it would be at the bottom and it will take you up much like the flying system in world of warcraft like it will take you to that area and then it will disappear and then someone else can get on it down the bottom etc i see that being a thing if the worlds are really going to be that big and explorative it makes sense to have you know different mechanics in the world to keep us interested and to get to different places i just feel like this game could be absolutely incredible so as i said this leak is not 100 confirmed we don't even know if this is a bungie employee but the fact that a few of these things have already been confirmed leads me to believe that everything else in these comments should be taken seriously and could very well be a part of destiny 2 so let me know what you think down below in the comments section do you agree with these changes for Destiny 2? Are you excited? What do you like? What do you don't like? Hit the comments down below. Hit that like button. Let's get this video out to as many people as possible before Destiny 2 comes out. And you can only do that by hitting the like button, sharing it to people, sending it to your friends, sending it to your raid team, sending it to your family, sending it to your mom, sending it to your pets. Just send it to everybody in the world. And let's just, you know, get this out there and see what people think. Thank you for watching. I've been Easy Now and you guys have been awesome.